Hello and welcome to Logajit Gaming and welcome to the Microsoft E3 conference. Uh, can you let me know if the audio and video is okay? I mean, at least the audio because I haven't started. Yeah, so we should be starting in about two minutes, hopefully. Uh, hello, Ion. Hello, and Costel. Hello, Mukund, of course. Hmm. Yeah, it is going to start in a minute. Yeah, let me know if the audio is okay. Then we can go full screen and start as soon as it begins. Yeah, I've had some issues with my internet just half an hour ago. So, okay, okay, okay I'll watch both. <coughs> both what, sorry? Could you uh, stream it on a higher bitrate so there is less delay? Um, For less delay, I'll have to stream it at low latency. So it'll be, there'll be more buffering there, I suppose. Uh, thanks for the free games. No problem. No problem. Cast Pro. Frost Knight. Anyone interested in Surge 2? I haven't played Surge 1, but I did play Dark Souls and I'm always interested in more Dark Souls type games. Both the streams. That would be crazy. I don't know. If you'd like, you can try that, but it seems pointless. It's Zyphron. Hello. Uh, thanks for the free game news. No problem. Lens Duck 24. Hello, Yoni. Claro, I am by going to sleep. I can understand. I, I'm just drinking a cup of coffee just to make sure I don't fall asleep. Hello Vortex, Vortex is here. Okay, it's starting. Let's go. Okay, let's see if this is all good. Yesterday was a snooze fest. Xbox E3 2019 Briefing. efficient structure history has ever shown us. Scheduled scarcity is a premium feature of colonial life. The colony must never lose faith. That is what the board provides. Security in a senseless and chaotic world. This is Halcyon, the furthest colony in the galaxy. Proudly owned and operated by corporations. Everything we have, everything we are, Xbox's biggest competitor right now isn't PlayStation, it's Google. But a stranger has just arrived. Someone who's challenging the corporate war. Someone who's digging up their secrets. Have you ever been at the wrong place at the wrong time? Someone 
someone who could be a villain or a hero. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. Or a psychopath. Oh. Did you ever think you'd end up like this? My time to shine. I suppose time will tell, but no matter who this stranger chooses to be, the Halcyon Colony will never be the same. They're all a bunch of swine! Please welcome, from Ninja Theory, Ronnie Tucker and Dom Matthews. Ninja Theory, okay. Yeah, it's interesting, they started with the trailer. At E3 2018, we announced that Ninja Theory had joined Xbox Game Studios, a move that has given us an incredible boost in achieving the creative ambition of our teams. We've started work on a number of new games at the studio, and in the near future, we'll be sharing details on all of these projects. When we joined Xbox Game Studios, we already had a very exciting game several years in the making, and we're happy to return to E3 to share this with you. As creative director, I'm stoked to be here to share our new game with you guys. It combines two of my gaming passions, third-person action combat and competitive team multiplayer. Our technical alpha is kicking off in just a couple of weeks, and we'd love for you to sign up, get involved, and tell us what you think. Or if you're here at E3, come and join us for a game. I really, <laughs> I really hope you guys like it. Check it out. This is Bleeding Edge. World premiere. Where is MZK? He'll be missing this. I'll stick with single player. Yes, the stream is getting a bit uh, blurry. Can't really do much about it.
what is this? Oh, Minecraft. Yeah, the stream isn't smooth today, it's lagging a bit. It's blurry as well. Please welcome the head of Xbox, Phil Spencer. Thank you. We on Team Xbox live for this exact moment. The moment are, we get to share the best of our art form here with you in LA. And the moment you get to experience breathtaking new stories, new worlds, and new heroes for the very first time. This moment isn't just about finding some new games, it's about discovering your new games. This decisive moment of discovery is etched in your gaming history, alongside your every achievement, your every moment, your every new friend. This is why we on Team Xbox are always and will be dedicated to unleashing the next new games for you to discover and love. So whether you're you're what? one of the thousands with okay. us here in Microsoft Theater. <laughs> or one of the billions around the world who play. This right now is the single most creative and energizing time in gaming history. Games and gamers together now have the sheer magnitude to be a significant unifying force for the world. The expanding universe of gaming has opened a new era of creative possibility. PUBG with Mobile. more games, more creators, and Seriously. more industry players than ever before. And gamers were everywhere. In under two decades, the number of players in the world has more than tripled. Man, the stream is annoying. Over two billion of us Look now play that. games in every region and on every continent. And with new technological leaps, we get to play whatever we want, with whomever we want, and wherever we want. <laughs> On Team Xbox, every decision is guided by our belief that gaming is for everyone. My team and I are single-minded in our resolve to bring everyone the games they want, to connect everyone to play with the friends they want, and to empower everyone to play wherever they want. This is why we keep innovating hardware and services. It's why we're uniting communities through crossplay, and why it's why we're investing with new distinctive creators. Above all, gaming is for you. This is why we scour the world for your next new games. 
This today is the largest showcase of games on any stage, anywhere this year. Today, from the thousands of games in development across Xbox One and Windows PC, we're highlighting 60 games for you. Ooh. Including 14 games from Xbox Game Studios and over 30 games premiering in Xbox Game Pass. Nice. In addition to showcasing all of these games over the show, we'll also announce what's next at Xbox Game Studios. Sharing our expansive plans for streaming, and of course, revealing more about our next new console. So thank you for joining us today. Let's jump in. How long is this uh, briefing? Okay, what do we have next? Oh, is that Star Wars game? Yeah. Ready to do this? Cal Kestis. Saw Guerrero. I'm here on Jedi business. Jedi are dead. Not all of them. A Jedi. I'm okay. You all right? No, we are not doing that again. World premiere. Another one. Okay. <laughs> What is that? What is that? What the? Outlast? Three? <laughs> yep, this is Outlast 3. I think. Peter Shannon, a nine-year-old boy, went missing on Saturday. This afternoon, the authorities are organizing a search oh, something in the similar. Black Hills Okay, Bullet. Let's find this kid. Wait up, Bullet! Bullet! Where am I? This feels like Outlast. Okay, Bullet. Let's find this kid. Oh, come on. Not now. Drop circles? What the hell is this? Blair Witch. Oh. 
Oh. Now this is what we were hoping for. New footage. Just want the money. You got the chip. All right, start her up, bug. Why don't you go to the bathroom, wash up? We gonna be with you in a minute. Wow, oh, come on, man. Your neck, it's a mess. While hotel security has yet to comment, we do know the suspect seems to have fled the scene. They're showing that you can create different characters. Like, look at the face is different to the one they showed in the last trailer. Initiating combat mode. Go! Destination confirmed. Woo That's what I'm talking about! Alright! In and out! We're rich! Oh, we are going to the major leagues, Jackie! Right. <laughs> oh no! Big guy got shot. Oh, Get to a clinic now. Mr. Wells' condition is critical. Go! Immediate medical help okay. is required. Just, just hold on. Just, oh. Hey, hey, just think about all the good <laughs> that we're gonna have, huh? I'm sorry. He's done. What the hell? Just take the f chip decks. Every corporal cop in this city is gonna be blasting down these doors after what you and your psycho friend did. We didn't need all this tension, damn it. This is more like Terminator at this point. Wake the f up, Samurai. We have a city to burn. What, John Wick? What the hell is this? Please welcome Keanu Reeves. Seriously? So he's a character in Cyberpunk. Wow. Yeah. All right. Good to see you. Thank you. All right. This was a big surprise. Right. I gotta talk to you about something. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Let him speak. I gotta talk to you about something. <laughs> CD Project Red. Cyberpunk 2077. All right. 
A while back, the guys from CD Projekt Red approached me and asked me to be a part of their new project, Cyberpunk 2077. They were going on and on about how they'd create this vast open world with a branching storyline, how you'd be able to customize your character through in-game choices. And it's not something I knew before, but I was excited by. And I'm always drawn to fascinating And it stories. makes sense because of all the movies he has done. He's done similar stuff. Cyber. Johnny oh. Mnemonic, that sort of thing. Is set in a metropolis of the future where body modification has become an obsession. You play as an outlaw, an enhanced mercenary working in the sleazy underbelly of the city. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, but let me tell you, the feeling of, of being there, of walking the streets of the future, is really going to be breathtaking. You're breathtaking. <laughs> You're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. All right, all right, all right. So, I guess I gotta finish this, so tell me. Do you guys wanna know? Um, when there's uh, when it, the release date. Yes, of course. Oh, no, don't do this. Yeah. All right. Then check this out. Ready now? Whoa, hey, easy. Mr. Hand sent me. Pre-order today. Okay, I'm in. You have gone through to the other side. Let's do this. Okay, early next year. Fine, fine. April 2020. Okay, okay. I'm fine with that. World premiere. Hey, what is this? This looks nice.
Ah, oh, battle toads, yeah. yeah. Welcome, head of Xbox Partnerships, Sarah Bond. Bond? Yes, Bond. No. Yeah, but this one has been so much better. All the ID at Xbox games you just saw will premiere on Xbox Game Pass day one. Okay, okay, that's good. At Xbox, our passion is to help you find and play the games that you love through creation, curation, and discovery. The ultimate expression of that passion is Xbox Game Pass. My team travels the globe, seeking out fan favorites and hidden gems and crafts partnerships with their creators so that you can discover your next favorite game. Mind-blowing experiences epic adventures, and iconic characters, all for you to explore. It has been awesome to see the record-breaking success developers have had in Xbox Game Pass, introducing their games to new players and creating lifelong fans. Since launch, we have tripled the number of partners in Game Pass, adding more games from more genres, platformers, RPG, adventure, sports, puzzles, and more every single month. And of course, every Xbox Game Studios title you see today will premiere in Game Pass day one. We are thrilled to announce new titles coming to Xbox Game Pass on console today, including Batman Arkham Knight, Metro Exodus, <laughs> Hollow Knight, and Borderlands 
It's a handsome collection. What about PC? Amazing games that you can start playing today. Our mission at Xbox is for you to be able to play any game with anyone, anywhere. And we know for many of you that means PC. Oh, thank you. That is why <laughs> last month we announced Xbox Game Pass for PC. Last month? I've been using it for more than a year or so. Today, the Game Pass journey on PC begins. Okay, now, what's different? PC players can discover their next favorite game with Xbox Game Pass. We have curated over 100 games just for PC. That's good. Including That's good. favorites like Emperor Rome and Football Manager 2019. Okay. And for the first time on PC, starting with Halo Reach, the entire Master, Master Chief, Chief collection. collection. Now see that X, and how much is it? The Game Pass. Woo! We are thrilled to share that Xbox Game Pass for PC launches in open beta today. Nice. Whenever you're ready. So Metro will also be on PC, so it's not Epic exclusive, you can play it on Xbox. Okay, Forza is here. Forza is already there. Gear 5, yeah, yes. Halo. Ray, oh yes, I finally I can play Ray. Okay, new Colossus is here. Oh, why is it cool weather? Fish is still there. $9.99 a month. Xbox Game Pass for PC is here. Now, try it out by downloading the all-new Xbox app on Windows. And if you want it all, what? we have created a membership just for you. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. What is that? You get everything. Xbox Game Pass for console with over 100 great games. Xbox Live Gold, an unrivaled gaming community. Okay, so this is for Xbox. And now, Xbox Game Pass for PC at no additional charge. This is good for Xbox players. Yeah, 10. It was already 10, so it's not bad. And because it's E3, everyone can jump in and play today for $1. Nice. Yeah, they have these offers. I mean, now I go got one dollar. Your next favorite game. One dollar for three months. So I'm still on that. Uh, kind of. World premiere. Okay, let's just watch the next one. Good for me. I play on both. Yeah, yeah. Satellite data and Azure AI. Okay, it's that cloud thing maybe. Hey, what is this? Halo? Nope. Assassin's? No, what is this? No. New model. Airport simulator, what is this? Okay, we can play it on launch, that's good. How long is the $1 deal? Probably for a while, few weeks at least. What 
What is this game? Planet Explorer or something like that? Flight Simulator probably, yeah. If they had the Microsoft Flight Sims, they were very popular. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Five Flight Simulator 11. Well, they're not calling it 11, but yeah. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Okay, what next? Do you remember a time? Age of Empires? When armies were built and powerful cities collapsed. When the smallest of choices echoed through the pages of history. It was an age yep. of empires. Two definitive edition. Okay, okay, this is good. Man, the graphics look so good now. I played this when I was still in school. Can you imagine? I've started getting grey hair in my beard now. And, I, and this is still... People are still playing this. They did remaster the first game, so it makes sense they've done it for the second as well. Razors? I see you at a donkey's age! Welcome to beautiful Colorado! Home to the Purple Mountains Mastigy of the Rockies! Hike through colorful canyons! Get up close and personal with a wild and woolly wild ice. This looks fun. Sample home-cooked delicacies! Eat where the locals eat! Visit Colorado Springs. There's so much to see and do in this post-apocalyptic winter wonderland. Okay, so this is like an ex style game. People. Make new friends. Colorado has colorful characters and friendly faces everywhere you look. I don't have much dark. Hair see our beautiful <laughs> airport. <laughs> And don't forget to pick yourself up a nifty souvenir. So don't be shy. Colorado's waiting for you. <laughs> first round's on me. Uh, first round's on, on you. Wasteland 3. Okay, interesting. Please welcome head of Xbox Game Studios, Matt Booty. Booty? Interesting name. I guess he's the butt of the jokes. Games are at the heart of our mission. Over the last year, we added seven new game development studios to Xbox. It's fantastic to see some of these studios already sharing new games on our E3 stage, and there's more to come. I have the privilege of working with some of the best studios around the globe. And for me, great studios are about people, teams, and ideas. Our success comes down to one thing, creating great games that players love. And great games come from great developers. That's why I'm honored today to announce that joining Xbox Studios is Double Fine Productions. Okay. They're just buying all the studios they can. Double Fine has been a beacon of creativity. What the hell? Tim Schaefer is here. Okay. Hello! Thank you! Thank you so much, and thank you, Matt. We are so excited to be joining Xbox Game Studios, and I'm here to personally reassure you, Matt, I don't know what you've heard, but I'm a team player. Whatever you need from Double Fine, we'll make for you. Uh, Halo stuff, uh, Forza stuff, Excel stuff, whatever you want, we are there. Yeah. Tim, 
We just want you to make great games. Oh, that's such a relief, because I was totally lying. <laughs> In that case, we brought a brand new trailer for Psychonauts 2. Take a look if you dare. My name is Raz, and today is my first official day on the job. We're on a mission. Rasputin? I'm on him. Looking for me? <laughs> no. No. The mission is falling apart. We've lost control of Lobato. I put the old egg in the box in the basket in the basket. No, no, I won't tell. I won't tell anyone. I promise. No, please. We did get the first one free. I never played it. World premiere. The stream is lagging a bit. Oh, Lego. Psychonauts, the first game. <laughs> what the hell is going on with the stream today? Yeah, sorry about this. I don't know why it's. Yeah, I guess it's just my um, internet. Yeah, if this is on the Game Pass, then we won't have to buy this. I mean, it's quite expensive here in India, these games. World Premiere. You want to guess what it is? Hmm. This is an outfit for a newborn. You bought it this morning. You wanted to surprise me. I'm sorry. You're pregnant. You know? I know because you already gave it to me. This has happened before. What are you talking about? What's going on? Someone is coming. He's going to hurt us. He says you killed your father. I need to know what happened. 
Why are you doing this? My father died, died of a heart attack? No, oh, I, 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 I didn't have anything to do with... Any second now, he's gonna knock on that door. Help me. This isn't happening. This can't be happening. Police, open up. That's him. Did you call the police? We have a warrant. Please open the door. I didn't do anything. We're here to help. Don't listen to him. I'm your only chance. Open the door, right now. You know me. I love you. You have to believe me. Stop. No. You're under arrest. No. Hey! <laughs> It's like uh, before after time travel element. You're home. What are you doing? Sliding doors. Are you thing. okay? <laughs> Man, this is annoying. The stream is really buggy now. <laughs> Twelve minutes. So many games, I can only think of cyberpunk so far. That's a big cat. Anthony Tan is it the guy who made uh, Plants vs Zombies? Try changing browser. Yeah, I can try Chrome after this if we get more like. So I'm using Firefox. But I used the uh, Firefox yesterday as well. It, it was fine yesterday. Okay, gears five. From the Coalition, please welcome studio head Rod Ferguson. Thanks everyone. We're excited to announce that Gears 5 is releasing on September 10th. And if you want to play four days early, you can with our Ultimate Edition or membership in the newly announced Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. With Gears of War 4, we wanted to earn your trust. But with Gears 5, we want to push the envelope by doing new things never seen in a Gears game before. 
and we'll tell you all about it this summer. In July, join us for our Versus Multiplayer Tech Test, where you'll be one of the first to play our all-new competitive game type, Arcade. In August, at Gamescom, go hands-on with the all-new Horde mode and see how character abilities can turn the tide on the battlefield. In September, we return to the Biggest Gears campaign ever, where we'll explore more of Kate's harrowing journey and celebrate our launch on September 10th. But what are we talking about today? Today, it's a brand new way to fight the swarm. In Escape, you play as one of three hive busters. You and your squad infiltrate the hive, plant the bomb, and escape with your life. Because we all know the best defense is a good offense. It's everything you love about Gears turned up to 11. Attacked, and we lost everything. Everything except the need for revenge. This might look like a surrender, but it's not. It's an invasion. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your taste of Escape, an aggressive three-player co-op experience, oh, three perfect players. for your living room couch. But it's not just about busting hives. You can build them, too, and challenge your friends with the experiences you create. And tonight, join me on Mixer as we challenge these three WWE superstars, Xavier Woods, AJ Styles, and Tyler Breeze, to survive a gameplay deep dive from right here in the hive. For these at home, for the next two days, you and your friends can play in select Microsoft stores. Yeah, so good luck out running the swarm, and we'll see you on the leaderboards. 
Oh, and for anyone who pre-orders or plays within the first week, we've got something special just for you. Come on, stop being blurry. Yeah, this is their big uh, IP, so they're going to milk it. What is this? Terminator? What the hell is going on? So John Wick is in Cyberpunk and Terminator is in Gears 5. Excellent. Now compared to this, yesterday's stream from EA looks like a bunch of amateurs were doing it. Why is this stream so blurry? And let's quickly open this up on uh, Rome. See if it's any better there. Yeah, let's try Chrome instead. See if this is better. Dying Light 2. Yep. Oh no, this is blurry as well. When my father saved my life, he told me never to forget who I am, where I come from. But in this place, nobody even wants to know my name. Coming to Exhaust Not on Game Pass. Because when darkness comes, I might be gone. How was the tank engine in Elder Scrolls here? The virus tore society apart, but I won't let it turn me into an animal. Staying alive became the essence of our existence, yet life must be more than just survival. Every day, the disease tries to crush us and make us forget who we are, but I keep fighting. My name is Aiden, and I am infected. Yeah. Twenty twenty. This got delayed. I world think. premiere. Okay, another world premiere. Oh, new expansion. McLaren. But this is like everything is getting mixed up now. Come on, it's already Lego, I don't need the blurry screen as well. Sorry guys, my either, either my internet is bad or the screen is just terrible. 
Things up. Yeah, exactly. Everything is getting mixed up. Forza mixed with Lego. Terminator mixed with Gears. Yeah, people don't seem that excited about this. Please welcome Ralph Fulton. Yeah, Forza Lego. Yeah, might be good. I don't know. This might be different. Combine McLaren's passion for design. With about half a million of LEGO's legendary bricks, you get this incredible life-size LEGO Speed Champions Oof. McLaren Senna. Combine the beauty and freedom of Horizon with the playful fun of LEGO, you get the Forza Horizon 4 LEGO Speed Champions expansion. You will drive this Senna and more LEGO Speed Champions cars in an entirely new world, so with inventive new challenges, new areas to explore, and loads of bricks to smash. The Forza Horizon 4 LEGO Speed Champions expansion launches this week. I'll see you there. Yes, Pop. Hot Wheels and Horizon 3 made sense. Okay, so this is an iOS Android thing. Mobile game. Okay, I guess. They have mixed a lot this time. I think the theme of this one has been a mixture. Now, even Gears, somebody said it had like Hellblade influence. New story expansion, experience. Nice muscle power. My mission. Find the father I never knew. My mission, find a hero I've never met. He hasn't radioed in days. He hasn't been seen since the outbreak. The last time I heard his voice. The last place he was seen was in Trumbull Valley. Oh, I got to go college tomorrow. Okay, big niche. See you next time. I've only heard whispers. I've only heard legend. Of unseen horrors. Here, too we many zombie many. games. I think. Here, we can become stronger. For so long, I was just surviving. Now people are counting on me. This is where my story could end. This is where my story could begin. I thought we had seen everything. We ain't seen nothing yet. This might be good. Might be. Who knows? Available now. Okay. World premiere. Oh, another premiere. Okay, let's see. Yeah, they're throwing new games here. Sega. Oh, 
What is Japan's greatest online RPG? Star online too. Okay. Those of you who have played Fantasy Star know that this game had influenced many of the most popular games today. So with great delight, we welcome Sega back to our stage and Fantasy Star back on Xbox. As we said, our goal on Team Xbox is to bring you the world's best games. Meeting with developers, playing their games, and introducing you to their games, these are the best parts of my job. Back at E3 2017, when I first met with the creators of this next game, they shared their ambition to bring their massively popular game with its passionate community of 650 million PC players to the entire world. I'm happy to announce our partnership with the legendary team at Smilegate. Their approach to game design demonstrates sheer creative boldness. Next year, you'll discover the newest entry in this landmark franchise. On console, for the very first time, only on Xbox. This is Crossfire X. World premiere. Another, another one. Smile kit. I did not understand what that trailer. Is this like a game already out? What kind of game is this? Multiplayer or something? World premiere. Yeah, the 
this looks good whatever this is looks very beautiful art style is amazing Ah, come on string another jrpg I mean Bandai Namco makes sense. The graphics are really good in this one. Tales of Arise. Yeah, never heard of this. As long as it's not turn-based combat, I can give it a try. Okay, what is this? Borderlands? There yep. are six sirens in the universe. I used to be one of them. My name is Lilith. And I need you. Followers demand we join or die. We've got another proposal for them. Okay, handsome collection is there. Even more. Okay, so there's a new... Huh. New part, new expansion for two, well, uh, DLC I suppose. World premiere. Oh, another one, my god. What is it? What is it? What is it? Hello? Something big. They're making a big deal out of this. Miyazaki is the one behind uh, Dark Souls, right? And oh, George R. R. Martin. Game of Thrones? What the hell is that? I doubt you could even imagine it. That which commanded the stars, giving life its fullest brilliance. The Elden Ring. Oh, Elden Ring. Shattered by someone 
tell me you don't see it. Look up at the sky. It burns. Elden Ring. Okay, so is this based on Game of Thrones? Is this like a different book? Because I thought R. R. Martin has been writing that same book for 25 years and still hasn't finished it. Why has he written something else? Dark Souls mixed with Game of Thrones. Please welcome back, Phil Spencer. Hey, Phil's back. From multinational studios to one-person passion projects, thousands of Xbox games are in development for you right now. Just today, we showed you 60 games. We are now experiencing an unmatched expansion of creativity on Xbox. Gaming for you means connecting all of these creators to all of you. Last fall, we announced our ambition to empower everyone everywhere to play by bringing Xbox to the cloud. We will do this in two ways, through Project X Cloud and through console streaming. Two months ago, we connected all Xbox developers to Project X Cloud. Today, we invite those of you here at E3 for our first public hands-on of Project X Cloud. To experience the freedom to play right here at the show. And you'll have two ways to stream. There's a new platform feature, console streaming. It turns your Xbox One into your own personal and free xCloud server. Whether you're using a console in our data center or your console at home, this October, you'll be able to use our hybrid gaming cloud to play your games wherever you go. Where you play is now entirely your choice. You decide. So let's talk about our next console. For us, the console is vital and central to our experience. We heard you. A console should be designed and built and optimized for one thing and one thing only, gaming. Yes, now they understand. So the same team that created the world's most powerful console, Xbox One X, and innovated its groundbreaking processor and the Elite controller. The same team that engineered the world-class compatibility of today's Xbox One consoles. The same team that set the bar for live gaming services with Xbox Live. This same team set out on a new mission. Okay, what is to it? To create the future of gaming for you. When we think about the future of gaming, it's not just PC, it's not just console, it's not just mobile, it's really all of the above. Xbox is all about choice. We're investing in technology all throughout the game stack. The games you want with the people you want on the devices that you want. And for us, that starts with our next generation console. What is it? What is we it? don't want to build just another console. We truly expecting. want it to be transformative. More immersion, more exploration, more detail. So how do we make it easier for people to get into the game, to stay in the game? One of the things that gamers and developers are incredibly excited about is reducing load times. I'm an RPG gamer, and so, like, loading screens are a thing. SSD. Sitting there in the fake elevator, because you know that the game's loading in the background. It's just an elevator ride forever. That's our goal with gaming, is that you don't have those pauses. This generation is going to be a bigger leap than any generation we've done before. 
At the heart of our next generation console is our custom design processor, leveraging the latest Zen 2 and Navi technology from our partners at AMD. Ooh. From a pure processing perspective, this is four times more powerful than the Xbox One X. We're leveraging high bandwidth GDDR6 to ensure that we're getting the best performance You're possible. actually getting information about Navi here. It's going to usher in resolution and frame rates that we've never seen before. Like, never seen before. We're looking at frame rates up to 120 frames per second. 8K capability, variable refresh rate. Next gen ray tracing. It's real time because it's hardware accelerated for the first time ever. What I'm personally most excited about ray tracing is the on SSD. AMD. We've created a new generation of SSDs. We're actually using the SSD as virtual RAM. We're seeing more than 40 times performance increases over the current this generation. This thing is going to be a beast. The combination of the SOC and the solid state drive are really what gives you a totally new experience. Now we can take all of that power and apply it back into the scene. So we can actually generate more life in that world and bring it to the gamer in a seamless way. So that then you're fully experiencing what the game developer wants you to experience. When you can move through worlds without waiting for screens to load, that speed, that performance is what the next generation is about. This is the most immersive concept experience ever. What we really want to do is give developers the power to build the game they How much is this going to cost? We have hundreds of people across both our first party studios as well as our third party studios working on those next generation experiences today. It's an amazing commitment to content at Xbox Game Studios. 13 studios, seven in the last year. That's a big family. At 343, for us it's always about more seamless worlds with the next generation, we can bring the world to life in a way we've never experienced Halo before. We're delivering four generations of content better than you've ever seen them before. This console is especially awesome for Game Pass members. With the faster load times, you're going to be able to experience all the games within just a snap of your fingers. We're giving gamers the option to connect across devices and across platforms in a way that we never were able to before. This isn't just a console launch. This is about the future of gaming. Your games, your achievements, your okay, what is it? What is it? your accessories, your when console is it coming gaming out? experience Next with Xbox, year, it all comes forward with Scarlet. Scarlet. Project Scarlet. Holiday 2020. It so eats monsters for next breakfast. Year. End of next year. So plenty of time. This is Project Scarlet. The most powerful and highest performing console we've ever designed. Built for creators to unleash their boldest creative visions and optimized for players to enjoy the ultimate gaming experience on a console anywhere. Immersive experiences begin at the very heart of the console, at the silicon level itself. Together with our partners at AMD, we have co-engineered and custom designed a state-of-the-art processor for Project Scarlet. Power you could see defined previous generations. Power and performance you can see and feel defines Project Scarlet. When we talk about freedom to play, when we talk about Xbox in the cloud, when we talk about streaming your games, Project Scarlet and all of its power and all of its performance is the foundation of our future in console and the formation of our future in cloud. We launched Xbox 18 years ago with a game reviewers called the definitive reason to own an Xbox. Well, because humanity Hello. was Hello. and is worth saving. Next holiday, we will launch Project Scarlet with Halo.
this doesn't look like Halo so far. But I haven't played Halo, so I'm not the expert. Daddy's listening. Can you say hi? Hi. And how big are you? I'm baby. Can you tell Daddy how big you are? Are you so big? So big. <laughs> and can you sing? Good singing. How about I miss you? Miss you. And I love you. I love you. I love you, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. And I can't wait to see you. Can you say see you? See you. Good then. Bye bye. UNSC Pelican Echo 216. Mm. Can you hear me? This is UNS. Looks like the main power cells are fried. Armor shut down. Triggering survival mode. I'm going to try to override. Master Chief's battery is like less than 5%. Okay. If you can hear me in there, I hope you're ready. Please don't die. Please. Chief, I rerouted what little power I had into your suit. Hmm. Looks like there's a problem with the servos in your hands. Stay calm. You've been out there a while. I know I saw something in here to check your armor's diagnostics. there, big guy. You're not... Status report. Status report? What? There's something you need to see, Chief. We lost. Lost everything. There's nothing left for us here. I don't think we're here is. No, 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 not then. Not again. We need to run. No, we need a fight. Get ready. He isn't fully charged up. And he's running in. Crowd is a bit confused, it seems. Come on, game, stop being. Yeah, when the Master Chief Collection comes out, I'll start playing from the start to get an idea of what's going on. Perfect. 
it together. And I was right. Halo fans are probably losing it here. But it comes out next holiday, so long time. Years again. What? Oh, they're just highlighting everything again. Yeah, they're recapping now. Is this the end of the thingy? Lego. Might be good, who knows. Yeah, Cyberpunk easily to stand out. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. See, that was so much better. So how long was this stream? About hour and a half and they got so much more done today than uh, yesterday's stream which was like three hours long and it was useless. Yeah, this is much better. So what are your thoughts? Let's discuss. I think overall, um, yeah, I can't really think of anything else besides Cyberpunk. That was the show stealer for me. And Keanu Reeves, I'm surprised they managed to keep it under wraps because that could have been leaked. But somehow they managed to not leak it, which was impressive. And a lot of other games, Xbox Game Pass was good as well. Uh, $10. Yeah, that was fine. No cringe. See, it was much more professionally done. Yesterday's show, yeah, like I said, it felt like it was done by amateurs compared to this. Yeah, just Cyberpunk, that's it. I mean, the um, Dark Souls, Game of Thrones mixture was interesting, I suppose. Uh, Game Pass on PC, uh, if they are promising to add new games on launch, then that is a really good uh, option and the thing is there are some games that don't have regional pricing especially bethesda games so if those games are coming on the xbox game pass especially if they add something like prey i've been waiting to play prey for like two years or so since it's come on but it's not regionally priced and right now it still costs more than two thousand rupees so if i wanted to play that and i have the game pass i can just pay the ten dollars or when they give offers like one dollar for a month or something and play that and buy it whenever it's in a humble bundle or something if it's that good and if i want to own it so some games you play once and you don't really need to play them again then there was uh, there are a few other new games but uh yeah pretty good uh good to see md doing well game pass does look good yeah yeah uh md is like everywhere right now so i have always said recently that amd is the future of gaming nvidia might have the big graphics card but AMD has just put themselves everywhere. So it's on now even on mobile AMD is there. Both the consoles are on AMD. Google Stadia is on AMD. So yeah. And soon when everybody's on AMD, the games will be optimized for AMD. And Zen. So others will start suffering because of that. So yeah, uh Cyberpunk. Let's actually look at Steam. See if it's uh if they have put it up.
Yeah, I'm just uh, opening up Steam while we chat and see how much it is. Yeah, Cyberpunk's the only one that I would consider pre-ordering. Yep, it's already here, pre-purchase. Uh, let me just go back to the... Yep, here it is. $29.99. Yeah, I'm not too surprised. At least they didn't go all out and increase the price too much. It's still expensive, but... Yeah, it's, it's not bad. Yeah, but Keanu Reeves in the game, that was a big surprise. 10 months to go. Uh, I guess, plenty of time. 3,000 is... How much is it in dollars? About $40, okay. It's, it's, there, there is a bit of regional pricing in the city. Uh... It's cheap, it's a CD project title, it's on GOG as well. Yeah, GOG wouldn't have the regional pricing, so it'll be 60 there. Well, let's check GOG as well. Yeah, I was, I was worried because CD project did increase the price of... Uh, uh, that uh, Thronebreaker game, that was quite expensive. Plus it's still DRM free, right? So I guess it's all right. It's there, $60. So what do we get? Soundtrack, digital booklet, source book, wallpapers. Uh, about the game, print quality posters. Uh, okay, not bad, not bad. Yeah, so April 20, uh, 2020, sorry. So, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, Witcher 3 came out in uh, May, I think. So they tend to release their games in like quiet time. Got to pay for Keanu, yep. Uh, 59.99, Cyberpunk, Australian dollars. How much is Australian uh, 90 in US? Let me actually check it myself. Uh, We'll also check how much it is in India, for example. So we had three thousand in India. Hang on, is about forty, I would think. Yeah, forty-three roughly. So there is a bit of regional pricing there, and ninety Aussie would be. 63 so it's about 60 uh, how much is it in the UK anybody have an idea well, in fact I should be able to see it on the steam page okay 60 in the US 50 in the UK 60 euros 90 Australian 80 Canadian Okay, it's about the same. Yeah, CD Projekt is a bit more reliable at least with these things. I'm just relieved. I was worried they'll charge the full 60 here for India. But even a little discount isn't bad. And based on Witcher 3, this should be a huge game as well. So even getting at 3000, you would get your money's worth. Uh, I like this. There's no deluxe stuff. Comes all for base price. Uh, it's a good dev. Yeah, I agree. And if they do add, they'll probably add some expansions or something and they'll do it like they did with The Witcher. And yeah, I'll be happy to play, uh, pay for that if it's similar. Uh, Rog is getting a new app plan. Yeah, uh, GOG 2.0. Already pre registered for it. Looks good. Yeah, me, I've done the same as well. Uh, use enhanced team can you convert it from rand to us dollar okay let's see rand to us dollar uh do we have we should have uh south africa somewhere. 
Where is South Africa? Maybe it's in R. Uh, did I miss it? Am I not seeing it? It's with Z, right? Yeah, Z A R. Um, how much is it in uh, South Africa? Eight hundred, right? Let's check. I think I read eight hundred somewhere. 53 so it's a bit cheaper in South Africa as well if it was 800 yes, I saw uh, 800 yeah I think it's time to pre-order but they have given us a bit of time so April is uh, yeah 10 months away roughly I'll wait till the game is closed. Maybe we might see a pre launch sale on GMG or Fanatical. Cheapest in India, I think. Uh, we can check if it's cheapest in India. Let me see. I don't know if they've added it already, but we might have it. Yeah, it's already there. Steam DB is on it. The cheapest in Argentina. Anybody from Argentina? Probably not. Russia, 30. Uh, India, like I said, is 43. So our conversion was spot on. Uh, Chinese, Turkish. Yeah, Turkey, India, Russia. These are usually around here. But on this occasion, Argentina. And the most expensive in Japanese yen. So about $80. Israel is expensive. Eurozone is expensive. Swiss franc is expensive. I suppose anything closer to 60 is fine. So Canadian dollars, Colombian peso, Saudi real, this is fine. But Israel and yen, franc, these are a bit high. Euros, I think overall people in the euro region end up paying a lot more. New Zealand is here. Why is New Zealand here? Uh, Australia here as well. Australians, again, they get charged a lot as well. South Africa, 53. Uh, Taiwan, any. Yeah, it's predictable. Nothing unusual. See, what I was trying to explain earlier about Bethesda games, let me show you Prey. If you see Prey, came out in 2017, right? Uh, May 5th, 2017. Look where India is. Here. In the other games, India was somewhere around here. Look at this. India, it's... Uh, this is the cheapest. Hang on. Cheapest? Oh, it's also on sale right now. That's why. It's not showing the full price so yeah games are on sale right now the bethesda games but even on sale it's 1100 and look at this british pound is cheaper than india for example not by much but still a bit so we are actually more expensive uh, here it's more expensive than even in the euro region where which is usually the most expensive prey is expensive yeah prey is expensive because it doesn't have regional pricing but as the games don't have regional pricing for indians that's why it's expensive did you see the stream uh leaked steam library yeah, yeah i did i did why does bethesda do it basically they don't care simple answer Uh, I'll buy you Prey if you want to buy me Cyberpunk. Um, I don't think I can gift Cyberpunk directly on Steam. That's the problem. Because countries with lower uh, pricing, what they tend to do is we can't gift the game to uh, other regions where the game is more expensive. Because I tried it. Like, if I buy a game and try to gift it to someone, I can only gift it to people who are in India. That's it. That's the restriction. Otherwise, a lot of people would be doing that. So, I guess it kind of makes sense. Uh, it's stored, that's why. <laughs> Doom Eternal has regional pricing. Even Dark Souls games. Yeah, I agree. But Dark Souls Remastered at least was cheaper. Um, yeah, um, 
Doom, I got it from Green Man Gaming when it was on sale, but it was still a bit more expensive. 49 pounds pre purchase Cyberpunk. Yeah, UK is 50 pounds. I'm, I'm happy to pay 50, 60 for this sort of game. What about GOG? A GOG for us, there's no regional pricing, so it's the same. $60. $60 would be about 4,000. So, 1,000 more. That's what G2A does. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Eternal not even lost yet. Yeah. I think we'll probably get the reveal in the Bethesda conference. Anyway, I think we should uh, end the stream. This was so much better, so much better, much more compact. They covered so many more games in less time. Professional presentation. Got all the information. A few big surprises. Keanu Reeves. That was the big one. I'm also interested in that uh, Miyazaki game with R.R. Martin. That was good. And what else? Uh, Halo, Gears. Gears 5, I don't know. It didn't appeal to me. But it might be good. I'll play it if it's on the Game Pass and if I do get the Game Pass. And I'm actually interested in some of the games that I couldn't play because of the regional pricing. Like Wolfenstein 2. And there was one or two more games that they showed in the Game Pass that I thought, okay, this is good. But yeah, Cyberpunk, start saving money. And yeah, let's uh, hope it's as good as Witcher 3 and better probably. I mean, with Keanu Reeves, I'm going to watch the trailer again properly. But anyway, hope that was fun. I don't think I'll do any other uh, of the E3 things. Maybe I might consider the PC gaming show, maybe. But I don't think I'll do the Ubisoft or the other Bethesda ones. This was, I think, the best one to do so far. And yeah, I'll probably try to stream Metro Exodus tomorrow. Like I planned. And yeah, uh, thank you everyone for joining. Uh, you can now go and sleep. <laughs> I'll try to get some sleep as well. And yeah, good night. Uh, good morning, maybe. Take care, everyone. See you next time.